Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not driving. Um, hey guys, it's Paige. Today I'm going to be showing you my 2021 New Year's resolutions. Um, I just kind of call them like 2021 like goals because I feel like New Year's resolutions is kind of a thing like you say you're going to do, but you just like don't follow through. I was reading this statistic and it was basically saying it's best to join a gym after February 1st because that's when a lot of people kind of stop with their New Year's resolutions. And I really want to make resolutions this year that I'm actually going to follow because last year I just did not at all. I made the video. I barely ever went back to them. I don't even know if I did even one of them. So this year I'm going to change that. I want to make a two-part or three-part series basically um, showing you guys what I've done on my current New Year's resolutions, like how I'm improving, if I've decided to change any along the way, if I'm sticking to them or if I'm not, and I feel like that will totally help you guys stay accountable as well. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set your own goals and resolutions and how to stick with them and then showing mine as well. On December 31st, I just sat down. It was a really good day for me, honestly. I wrote out my 2021 goals for the year. How I thought of these goals is I actually watched this TikTok and she talked about having like personal goals, financial goals, like business or like entrepreneurial goals or like job goals, kind of like the same thing. Relationship goals, fitness goals, and then like spirituality, like religion goals, just like things like that. So I think if you're really trying to figure out how you're going to group off your resolutions, maybe writing like down financial goals and like spiritual goals would be good. But if you're just really looking for a short list of resolutions you can stick to, that works as well. But for me, whenever I make resolutions, goals, whatever, I like to make them kind of either set them in like a specific time period. Like by this time, I want to have like this many subscribers. Obviously, numbers do not matter to me, but that's kind of like a tangible like um, marking of like my success i guess i hate to say my success is like tracked by numbers but it kind of is and i like to have really specific goals so if i set a goal and i'm like be more active i'm not gonna fall through because i could say oh taking a walk around the block once a week is being more active making those specific goals for yourself i think are very important and obviously checking up on your goals like i said my first goal for the new year is to post at least once a week i feel like last year i definitely did this but this year i want to post once a week during like a normal school week twice if possible and i'm saying if possible because i don't want to push myself if i have a lot of homework that week but twice if possible it takes me like around five hours to edit one video thumbnail rough cut text color whatever like coloring the video takes so long for me so yeah <laughs> why do we keep doing this my next goal is to meditate for at least five minutes a day so I feel like meditation is really, like, it's just such like, a relaxing practice. You can do it in the morning, you can do it at night, you can do it when you're feeling stressed, whenever, honestly. And it just really centers me, and that sounds, like, so, like, cliche. I feel like it's best to just, like, slow down and take those five minutes for yourself. Honestly, I have been doing 10-minute meditations, which I never thought possible. Be active every day, and I wrote some examples, like, even just running errands or taking like a walk around the block, being mindful overall. I know I said to set specific goals, but this is just like the broad goal. And under that umbrella, just being mindful about what I consume, social media content wise. So I'm going to try to unfollow, mute, um, just like don't look at people's stories who like bring me down, write down a positive affirmation every day and just stick it up on my mirror. I actually was inspired by Caitlin Nolan to do this, implementing more self-love daily and having that um, tangible goal of just like putting that one post-it note up, I think will be really great for me. The next thing is kind of like thinking before I speak and using like more positive language. This kind of goes with the last one, also positive language towards other people because I find sometimes like I can kind of lash out and kind of just say things on a whim. Also, can be honestly so critical of myself of other people and i just need to be so much better about that the next thing i struggle with accepting failure and recognizing it's an opportunity for growth so the last night i had a really hard time accepting failure I'm not gonna go into details i had a really difficult time accepting that i had messed up i couldn't do anything about it and it was just done it was over but Instead, I've kind of taken today to recognize it as an opportunity. Yesterday, I was not ready to say, oh, that's a lesson. Today, I am. I'm ready to be like, hey, next time, Paige, you need to do this or do that or whatever. You yeah, instead of just beating myself up, 
using it as a tool for growth. My last 2021 resolution is to speak to my relatives once a week. It's just hard for me to be able to like pick up the phone. So I just need to be better about that. My last goal is to have a bomb Spotify wrapped. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, basically like at the end of the year, Spotify like compiles like all the music you listen to, says how many minutes you listen to, who you listen to most, what your top songs are. Last year, mine was basic, mine was boring. I barely ever listened to music. But this year, I'm going to try to like listen to music. I really wanna make a good playlist that I love listening to. I've been doing that today. If any of these resonated with you, I would definitely recommend adding them to your 2020 goals list. Also guys, I made a new lock screen. I would definitely recommend doing this if you um, have like some goals yet you you want to like achieve and or you're trying to manifest and just like looking at this every day, I feel like it would be super helpful for you. So I made mine like sage green themed. Um, I probably will like put a screenshot on the screen because like that wasn't really clear. Also a good way to keep track of your goals and like make sure you're reaching them like every day. Like um, I downloaded this app called Streaks and it is $5 but it's so worth it because a lot of other apps they like shortchange you and they're like oh if you want to add more than three little like um, tasks a day you're gonna need to um, like pay money. The Streaks app is only $5 which is pretty inexpensive. And basically like I can add all the little tasks I can need to do like I have meditate on here edit for YouTube because sometimes like I literally forget things like it's weird um, Exercise yeah, if you enjoyed this video make sure to share it with a friend and again every day is a clean slate Every day is a chance to start over